Hello and thanks for joining me today. I want to show you a beautiful card that I received at the um, Stampin' Up! convention back in July. And this card was designed by Buffy Allen that, and I received it as a swap. And I just loved it. It's one of my favorite swaps. Um, I think what I love the most is this background here. It kind of looks marbleized, and so that's what I want to teach you how to do today. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to just use a scratch piece of paper here, but we're going to use the Stippled Blossom stamp set. And so when you first look at this card, um, it's almost hard to tell that those are flowers stamped in the background because of the way um, we sponge some color um, on top of the flowers when we stamped them. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. So with the Stippled Blossom stamp set, um, if you haven't seen this stamp set, it is actually what I call an overlay stamp set. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but um, it has a background stamp. So this, this stamp right here is for adding color to the flower. And then it has the overlay stamp, as I call it, or the outline stamp. And this gives you the outline of the flower. So typically when you use this type of a stamp, you stamp the background in a lighter color and then you stamp the overlay in a darker color. So for this particular card, we are going to use um, crumb cake for our lighter color and we will use the baked brown sugar for the darker color. So I'm going to start out with the crumb cake and I just want to... Um, randomly stamp these images. I'm going to do the background first. It technically doesn't matter which one you start with. I like to start with the background first because it's easier to do the overlay. Um, but you can, you can do it either way, whichever way you're comfortable with. And then I'm just going to stamp the overlay onto it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is not about perfection. And because we are going to stamp other little flowers in between, so let me grab the little flowers from that stamp set. And I'm just going to put a couple of these all over the card. like that. And then we'll add some overlay to it. Okay. And then I'm just going to use the lighter color, the crumb cake, and I'm just going to sponge um, in between here and just kind of fill it in a little bit. So, so it kind of all blends together and that's that's pretty much how you get that marbleized look. And I think I might have to uh, add some more ink here to my uh, crumb cake. Kind of running out. And you can also then just kind of go through and add a few more if you want, just to give it, you know, more of that marbleized look. So that's what you have for your background. And then for this particular card, what she did is just um, stamped out some butterflies and she added a little bit of color to each of the butterflies. She stamped them out in the brown, the dark brown added a little bit of pool party to that and then just glittered up the ends and it's just a, a gorgeous card. So again here's what the background looks like and it's all done with all the flowers. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.